What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are checking out the latest electric scooter from Heatway. The one that we have here today is the H5 model. This is an electric scooter that has a top speed of 45 km an hour. We also have a 500 watt motor that's in the rear wheel with a peak power of 800 watts. We have disc brakes on the front and on the back. These are mechanical disc brakes and we also have dual suspension. So suspension on the back and suspension on the front. So of course that will help when you go over bumps and so on. Before we go any further, let me show you what comes in the box and what you have to do to get this ready and on the road. All right, so the scooter comes in a somewhat smaller box than most other scooters that I got to try in the past. And in the box, the scooter is very well packed, so it's not going to get damaged um, during transportation. Aside from the scooter, you're also going to find the user manual. We have some tools in there and the charger for the scooter. So the charge port is on the left hand side here. And it takes about six to seven hours to fully charge this from zero to a hundred. As for the range we'll talk about that um, later on um, in the video so when you take this out of the box you do have to put a couple of things together first of all you have to put the light um, together basically one screw and then you have to screw in um, the display here and the buttons on the left hand side but you should be ready and out on the road in about 10 minutes all right, and back to our scooter. So this scooter is also foldable in a couple of ways so first of all you can fold the handlebars so kind of like this so the handlebar is um, folding and then you can also fold it from here. So we have the safety pin um, right here and then you pull on this and then this kind of locks in place and you could carry it um, like this. Now the scooter here is not the lightest out there. So this weights about 24 kilos. So of course you're not going to be able to carry it for um, longer periods um, of time. And then you do this basically and then this locks in place. Unfolding the handlebar is also quite simple. You basically do this and then you just push this a bit in just to make um, sure it's nice and uh, tight. And the handlebar here can also be lower or higher. So you can do this. So if someone that's smaller riding the scooter, for example, a child, or if you do get a version that has a seat, because there is a version that comes with a seat as well, but also if you're taller you can raise this um, up to this level. So I like the fact that you can adjust uh, the handlebar in height because with a lot of scooters you don't have that option. So even though I love the fact that I can raise or lower the handlebar here, having this kind of system also brings a bit of play into the handlebar here. So as you can see here it kind of moves a bit, something that doesn't usually happen on a scooter like this that um, doesn't have that system. So it's great for certain things but at the same time not ideal. And going down from the handlebar here, well here we have the headlight. The headlight is bright enough if you are riding at night, so it will light up the path ahead of you really nice, but you can barely see it um, during the day, so it's not that bright for um, daytime riding. Then on the front here we also have the spring suspension. The spring suspension does help when you go over uneven terrain, but with this scooter we get 10 inch solid tires. So these are not inflatable tires, that means that the ride will be harsher than normal. So if you've had a scooter that has um, inflatable tires, when you're going to be riding this you will feel that the ride is kind of um, harsh. So you kind of feel that in your knees and in your back. And even though we have the front and rear suspension, that's what typically happens when you have solid tires. The upside to having solid tires is the fact that you're not going to get any punctures. So those tires are pretty much indestructible but the ride is not as soft as the ride um, from a scooter that would have inflatable tires. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we also have disc brakes on the front and on the back. And I also love the fact that they have these painted in red. I think it makes the scooter look um, cooler. As for the stopping power, well, it does work really well. So whenever you are braking, you can definitely lock that rear wheel or the front wheel if you pull on this um, hard enough. So I don't have any issues with the braking power from this scooter. Now over the front wheel here we also have a plastic mudguard. And even though this will be great if you are riding uh, I don't know, when it uh, rains for example, this also makes a bit of noise when you go over bumps, over rocks um, or uneven terrain basically. So I'm not a fan of that noise that um, it makes. 
We have the same um, plastic mudguard on the back here. And again, as you can probably hear, it does make a bit of noise uh, when you go over uneven terrain, as, um, as I said. On the back here, we also have the rear um, suspension. So once again, this kind of helps with those solid tires, but even with the front and rear suspension, the ride is fairly hard, I'm gonna say. On the back here, we also have the rear light, and this also acts as a brake light. So whenever you're pressing the brake levers, that one um, will light up more. On the sides here, um, you've probably noticed we also have a couple of other lights. So these are signal lights. So if you're turning right, you can signal right. If you're turning left, you can signal left. Now, they don't get super bright, so you may not be able to see them that well during the day, but you can definitely see them um, really good uh, at night. And at the bottom here, we actually have some cool lights, let's call them cool. Personally, I'm not a fan of those lights and how they look, but if you're in a parking lot and you're just sitting there, I guess you can have those lights and the scooter will have a more cool vibe, let's say. The 500 watt motor that we have in the rear wheel has a peak power of 800 watts. And for most situations, the scooter has plenty of power. The top speed that I was able to reach with the scooter was 42 kilometers an hour. The manufacturer says that you can get up to 45 kilometers an hour. And yes, that's possible if you're a bit lighter than me. Now, when you first take the scooter out of the box, this is locked to 25 kilometers an hour. But if you want to unlock it, you basically press the mode button five times um, quickly. And then it switches to like the faster um, mode. And then the top speed in mode number three is up to 45 kilometers um, an hour. Now, the battery pack is located right here at the bottom. According to the manufacturer, you can get between 30 and 50 kilometers um, of range on one charge. Now, the way I was riding the scooter, mostly because I was going fast, I was able to get about 22 kilometers on one charge. So kind of half from what the manufacturer says. Now, again, if you're not riding as fast, maybe you're not as heavy, maybe if it's warmer out, you may be able to get a bit more than that. But me, with my weight, I was able to get about 22 kilometers um, on one charge. As for uphill riding, I guess it really depends what kind of an incline you're going to be riding on. For most hills that we have here, not super steep hills, and with my weight, the scooter does do better than many other scooters that I got to try in the past. So plenty of power from that 500 watt motor that we have in the rear wheel there. Okay, and moving on to the handlebar. Well, first of all, of course, we have um, the brake levers here. The handlebar is also fairly wide. So whenever you're riding the scooter, you have a fairly comfortable position. On the left-hand side here, we have um, a few buttons. So we have the on-off button for the headlight and um, the rear light. We also have the button for the horn and the signal lights. I'll quickly show you how the horn starts. So we do have an ignition key here and the scooter does come um, with two keys. So you power this on by holding the power button, press for about three seconds. So I guess loud enough for this kind of um, scooter. On the right hand side here, we have the display and we also have a couple of um, buttons. Now, the accelerator on this scooter is a bit strange, I'm gonna say. So you don't accelerate like the typical scooter. With this one, you kind of have to hold your finger over the accelerator and accelerate kind of like this but I find it a bit difficult to brake quick. So your finger has to get off the accelerator and get onto the brake lever. So I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of accelerator. I do prefer the scooters that have the normal accelerator at the bottom here. So I'm not sure how I feel about um, this. As for the display, if it's not super sunny out, you can still see the display um, during the day. Of course, you're going to be able to see it really well um, at night. And the display will show the speed, will show what mode you are in, and of course, how much battery you have. All right, so next I'm going to grab that camera. I'm going to put it on my chest here, and I'll take you for a short ride, just so I can show you how the scooter rides, how it accelerates, how it brakes, and um, so on. So let's check out that footage, and I will be right back. Okay, so let me quickly show you how to ride the scooter. So you turn the ignition key on and then you hold the button, the power button press for about three seconds. And we are already in mode number three. If you wanna change modes, you change them from the M button. 
So with this scooter, you basically just accelerate and the scooter um, keeps uh, starts moving. So kind of like this. We are doing 20 kilometers an hour right now. We'll go to about 30 and I'll do a brake test. So 27, 29. So 31, we'll do a brake test here. So you can definitely lock those wheels uh, if you want to. We have a bit of a hill here. Well, not that uh, big of a hill, but um, a little bit of a hill. And the scooter is slowing down a bit, but of course, uh, it keeps going um, eventually. And we'll go straight once again. And I'll do another brake test uh, around here. Not sure if you heard that, but uh, if the road isn't straight, the scooter does make um, quite a bit of noise. So we'll do another brake test here. So pretty good brakes, uh, I think. So yeah, that's how you ride uh, this scooter. So there you have it. This was the Heatway H5 electric scooter. So the 500 watt motor on the back has plenty of power for most situations. I'm not a fan of the accelerator um, here. The battery life on it is mediocre. It's not uh, the best out there, but I do like the braking um, power that we get from the mechanical brakes on the front and on the back and the ride is a bit uh, bumpier than normal. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.